everyone i hope everyone is doing great so today we are going to learn a different uh, topics because usually i create a video on pega okay but today i'm going to create a video on like how we can de deploy angular plus ionic applications to kubernetes kubernetes cluster using docker images okay so ionic can be clubbed with uh, angular react and, and anything okay so here i'm like today we are going to see ionic plus angular but let's say if you have a separate applications just angular applications the process is same okay or even if you want to deploy any other applications the process is very similar okay but i have combined because like uh, uh, ionic is a hybrid application hybrid like kind of framework to develop mobile applications or web applications okay using angular so i've just combined and 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 going to create that so let's let's just start okay so the first things which we are going to do is uh, we'll create a angular plus ionic application okay and then we'll start our our next step okay so let's let's just start so i'll open my terminal okay and i'll say ionic start you must be familiar with the, this kind of a term like how to create an application and other things so let's do this it is asking use this applications creation wizard i don't want to use that okay and then it is asking which framework you want to use so i'll be using angular so i select angular project name it is asking so let's say we'll give a, a first project okay first project i'll just give a name first project okay and then it is asking uh, how you want so i'll be just creating a blank one okay so you have multiple template okay tab side menu blank okay so or uh, my first uh, app and example applications that build a camera with the gallery okay but i will simply creating a blank one okay so let's select a blank okay and then you are already in ionic project directory do you really want to start another project okay yes so it will create like it will start a kind of a download everything whatever it is required and then we'll start like we'll we'll open this uh, project in visual studio and then we'll run that so basically here we are trying to set up our project okay so this is the basic steps uh, in your case let's say if you have an uh, existing applications which you want to import okay or like kind of a deploy to kubernetes cluster you can skip these steps okay if you have already uh, like your application so it's taking some time some exceptions which we are going getting but should be okay let's wait for a couple of uh, minute it should get uh, deploy like it should create our application so i think we are done with our application so what i'll be doing i'll be opening this project okay in my visual code studio so i'll be going here and my visual studio has been so open and then first project so i'll be opening here so now we have like what we did we have set up our ionic application so it will be the same process for angular as well maybe you need to use a different command to create an angular project but here i am using angular sorry angular plus ionic so i'm using that ionic command and i'll open the terminal and i'll start uh, this one so to start that ionic uh, applications we need to say ionic so will take another uh, couple of 30 seconds yeah so you can see that our application is running and here it's just saying okay blank so maybe we'll we'll edit our title little bit from wherever it is coming so let's uh, go and see uh, we'll go to uh, src app app component dot html app module dot ts uh, should be home yeah so maybe in home we have blank okay so we can say that first uh, project and ready to create in place of blank maybe i'll put this heading so i'll say this one in place of blank and i'll just save and if i'll go and see in the browser we should see that let's start it launched here let me just move it to chrome yeah so first project we can see that okay and that value is not coming why that should also come what we gave here and title okay maybe it is going in title so i'll simply take this one this value and in place of this one start with ionic and other things i'll simply put here 
in a paragraph just just i'm giving something okay which my on text okay so this step is optional so we can see that okay ionic plus okay fine now the next step is what we need to do okay so let's say if you have already this applications exist so you need to build that application so in uh in uh, i'll i'll uh, start a new terminal okay because on this one our applications is already running okay so to build that okay we have that command so i think uh, for angular we have ng build and for ionic we have a ionic uh, build okay so so you can see that we don't have any folder www okay so it will create a uh, folder called www and it will build in that one so let's do that So it will take uh, a minute in the meantime what we'll be doing uh, okay i am uh, for this one i hope that you already have a setup of mini cube and the docker okay so that is a kind of prerequisite to to this one if you don't know how to do that you can follow that uh, uh, their official website and it's very easy to do that if not let me know i can help with that so now what i'll be doing i'll be starting my mini cube okay so mini cube is start just so in the meantime this will also be ready and here i think we build it okay so we can see that we have a www folder got created okay so in angular we say distribution so we can change this name okay to dist okay and to do that usually what we do we need to change somewhere in some file angular.json okay so instead of uh, this one we can say a dist or this is not required even like uh, okay uh, this maybe you can skip okay so let's just rename this to www to dist or we can keep www also not a problem so let's keep that one okay as it is what it is giving okay so let's see in the meantime if we have created our kubernetes is running or not okay so our kubernetes is running okay so i'll just uh, launch that in that uh, browser so to launch that we need to say kubernetes uh, minikube dashboard okay so it will launch in the browser so let's see the deployment so we can see that we have already few deployment which i'll be deleting it okay uh, i added some poc i need an angular deployment so i'll be deleting those things just to show you from the beginning and even i'll be deleting so deployment i deleted and i'll be deleting the services as well okay so i have deleted that now what we need to do okay so let's go back to our steps okay so uh, create ionic applications open the applications okay uh, open the applications on the vs code start the applications build the applications we did that now we need to create a docker file and add and copy this this details okay so what i'll be doing i'll be creating a docker file so we need to go to this file a new text file and we need to paste this value and we need to copy from in place of dist we need to copy www and inside that we should see uh, just www because we don't have any project name inside that one so you can see that uh, okay everything is there but in angular maybe your things will be little different okay than uh, ionic okay so that you may need to check and we will save as this file with a docker file so save as this file and we'll say docker docker file so we'll say save so we got a docker file okay and this we have written now let's let's go and see that what is our next step so let's recap what we did as of now so as of now we created applications very simple step and then we updated some kind of a title and other things which is very much kind of optional okay because you have your own applications then we built that uh, like uh, started applications okay and saw in the browser that yes my applications is up and running then we build that applications and then we created a docker file in the docker file we copy that to steps okay so what we are doing we are saying we are using this in command and saying that copy my like distributions okay or whatever uh, the package the compile package to to the docker repository okay so this one we are copying it okay now we are going to do okay and we have already started our mini queue okay so that was like kind of fifth step but we did it in a parallel now what we need to do we need to create a docker image okay so we'll copy this command so the command is very simple docker build 
slash t image name and the versions and then after space you need to give one dot okay so okay so let's copy the command okay so this is what we are going to copy and we can execute anywhere so let's execute here on the terminal only so i'll just clear okay and so we are already in first project okay so this is our project name so docker build and then slash t and then image name and then version so let's say image name will give first project first project and then version will give v1 v1 and then uh, space and then dot let's hit that so we created it so now we can check that okay if uh, whatever the the image which we have created okay that got created or not so to verify that we have we can uh, like execute this command docker images and we can see that so first project and b1 got created okay so till this point we are done so let's uh, see that okay so we created applications we started at applications we built at applications and then um, we kind of a created that image okay and we already like kind of our mini cube is running okay the next step is okay we have to create uh, a deployment so basically we have to deploy the image what we have created and also so in in deployment we have to do two things okay one is the deployment okay and then services so deployment is to make sure that our pod, pods are up and running and then services to access it from the browser okay so to do that what we need to do we need to add a file okay so this is the file okay detail so this is okay so i've already copied here okay so i'll just change this so we can give any name okay uh, deployment.yml on in this one what we need to give okay so we need to give both the details okay our deployment details and the service details so you can see that in place of deployment i'm saying the first project deployment and then the image name okay so this is just now we have created first project so that image name we have to give here first project and then rest everything you can like uh, modify okay and this i got it from the web only okay you can search in google if you're not finding it out let me know i can help with that so what it will do it will deploy with the two parts so here we have said that replica is two and then on this port we can access it okay in the services side so the services side first project dot service okay this is what we have said in this file so now to uh, like deploy the docker image okay uh we need to because we have given the docker image here okay so need to execute this command and to do that to do the deployment what we need to do okay so let's copy the command okay and that command is very simple kubectl apply uh, and then hyphen f and then deployment.yml file okay so let's let's copy that one and let's try to execute so clear and so here what we will we are going to do okay we are going to say deployment.yml deployment dot yml okay so this command uh, once we execute we are hoping that if let's verify before executing that is there anything running with that uh, services with i like uh, ionic or like kind of angular okay so in deployment also it's not running so let's let's execute this command and see that so you can see that deployments dot apps first a first project deployment created and then first project service created so this is what we we have given in our yml file let's verify that or the deployment file first project deployment and first project service so let's see that if it is successful or not okay so in this we can see that in deployment okay it is successful we have a true replica okay and if i go in the service as well we can see that our service is also up and running and if we go to pods we can see that for first project there is two pods already running okay if you want to scale down or scale up okay that you can do it let's say i want to scale to three okay so that also we can do it so the moment we will save it it will start quickly start like increasing more so you can see that three pods and then if i come here so three pods is is there so this is the kind of a benefit of kubernetes right so on demand you can kind of a, uh, create more pods or like kind of a reduce or increase the more pods now question is that how we can access this what we have deployed okay so for that we have a command 
so the command which we can execute is that like verify the deployment right so we have a th three like kind of a steps which we have uh, which i mentioned okay like you get QC till get deployment. So if you want to verify, let's say if you don't have access, so we have that access to the dashboard. Okay, if you don't have, how we can verify from the command line only from the terminal. So you can QC till get deployment. So you can see that first project deployment we have what we have deployed that we can see that and then QC till get SBC to see that services. QC till QC till get SBC. I think that command. Let me see. I think uh, uh, maybe that command is uh, not uh, correct, but you can check that. Okay, so you'll find that uh, service also. It'll, it'll, it'll search that in Google and then you'll find it. Now we want to access that. Okay, so to access that, what we need to uh, do. Okay, we want to access that service. So we can see Minikube service. Or maybe like let me execute this one. Yeah, see, so you, you need to, to see the services, you need to execute kubectl get service so we can see that first project node, uh, like uh, our first project service that also is there. Now everything is fine. How we can access that in browser to access that browser, how we can, what we can say that kubectl service and then service name, then it will execute in browser. So we can copy our service name here. So we need to just give one space here and then execute it. It will kubectl let me just verify that oh sorry mini cube service okay so we need to execute mini cube service and then first project so it will open in the browser see this is the first project and then ionic angular application deployment to kubernetes using docker image so this is what we have given so this is here we are accessing from so if I'll go to Chrome, right? So this we are accessing from, I see here it's coming. So this is, this we are able to access from there. And if I go to 8100, this we are able to access it directly from that Angular Ionic, okay, from there. But this is, this is coming from the cluster from the Kubernetes, okay? So this is what end to end I wanted to show, okay? And you can try that and let me know if it is working or not okay and uh, if it is working then fine if not then i can help you that okay so this is a basic class okay to learn like at least like uh, how we can like use kubernetes okay in our like kind of a local system so that's it for today okay thank you thank you very much have a good day bye